just so I don't get sick. Uh, but their cages is clean. But again, I like these big size cages because the dogs can run around, they can move, they can stretch their legs. They not balled up in those small kennels. But again, if you got those small crates, family, I'm not saying that you a bad person, not at all, family. But eventually you wanna try to upgrade to where you can get your dog into a bigger crate, especially if you got big dogs. To the top, everybody money hunting, they gunning, they coming. They wanna see you in the grave, don't wanna see you paid. They wanna see you slave, but nah, we can't have that. And niggas turn to dead weight, we had to trash that. No lost love, tell them suckers they can have that. And no more stress about love, man, what a bag at. On oh, my mama, I'm past that. Put chains on the door, praying I don't get a foot in. Count real niggas out, how you fake niggas get in, but won't last forever. Y'all crash together, my dog show me real love, sometimes won't last. Forever my heart broke when I seen that family. Good morning, good morning, good morning, baby. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, family. It's Fetty G with SSK Kennels, y'all. I just wanted to get out here and make this quick video for y'all. I just finished doing the dogs, y'all. I didn't let nobody run around. But everybody cage, everybody cage cleaned up. Uh, I didn't feed them. If they had food, I left it. If they did have food, I didn't add more because I just know how my dogs is. Right now, y'all, it's raining, it's lightning, it's thundering. But for me, y'all, it's hard for me to sleep at night knowing that my dog kennels are full of poop and they all got fresh water and stuff like that. So for me, I got to at least, well, she just pooped, y'all. Y'all see back there? Uh, what's her name? Just let her out of love. Whoop -de -whoop. What's up, big girl? Huh? She in here with hustle. But yeah, she just pooped, so I, I ain't get that one. But everybody cage is cleaned out. I cleaned out their cage, but she just pooped, y'all, before I can make this video. These two over here, they cage is cleaned out. What's up, big girl? Family. Miss Pressure is uh on the market, y'all. So if anybody wanna uh look into purchasing Miss Pressure, the girl is six months old. Beautiful structure. Uh, she is what you call a sable or a reverse truck. So she is available, family. But I just wanted to show everybody that everybody cage is cleaned out. And I'm going to tell y'all why I'm making this video, y'all. Me, personally, it's hard for me to sleep at night knowing that my... Or being in the house relaxing or responding to text messages or making a video or editing a video. It's hard for me to de do these things knowing that my dog kennels are full of poop. You get what I'm saying? Or something not right. So for me, I got to go ahead and get out here no matter what. Y'all, it's raining like crazy. Look, it's muddy as hell everywhere. It's been lightning and thundering like crazy, y'all. But at least the dog cages are clean. Ghoulie! Hey, what I said, man? Let me let Ghoulie out real quick. Right, Barbie, back up. He jump up in here, y'all. He be scared to jump out. Come on. So, that's big Ghoulie right there. Ghoulie in there with Barbie, y'all. As y'all can see, he hungry. He done jumped up in that dollhouse and they want to jump out. But family, everybody cages are cleaned out, y'all. No poop. I just scooped out everybody poop. I just rinsed out all of, all of the, the some of the dog bowls. I, I, I scrubbed them out. I put them up here to dry. The ones that needed to soak, I left them over there soaking. But everybody cages is clean, y'all. Family, if you finna get in this game, I don't care if it's raining, snowing, whatever. You gotta get out here and make sure the dog's taken care of. What's up, big pop? What's up, big boy? Huh? The boy like when I rub that neck. What up, big boy? What's up, big boy? You gotta get out here and make sure the dog's at least taken care of, family. You got to get out here and do that at least, y'all. Look at that. This filling up with water. Oh, that thing heavy. I know it's a plug on here somewhere. Hold on, y'all. It's a plug on here. Y'all can see that plug? Look at that. Ooh, that's how much it been raining, y'all. Look at that. It been raining since like yesterday afternoon, y'all. So you want to come out here and at least do the bare minimum at least, man. These goddamn kids with these chips. But fair, 
again, this is why I encourage everybody. I understand, y'all, it's expensive, so, you know, you only could do what you could do, fam. But that's why I don't like those small kennels, y'all. People, if you got a house dog, cool. Your dog can roam around the house. You ain't got to worry about nothing. But if you got outside dogs and they in those small traveling kennels, to me, that ain't the way to go because, like right now, it's raining. It's raining like crazy. And I'm not going to stay out here. It's raining, y'all. I could, I could get sick. It done happened to me before. I done been out here trying to do the dogs, let everybody run around and got sick. And then now... I can't take care of the dogs because I'm in the house laid up sick. And the kids and Todd in there trying to revive me. So now I just come out here and do the bare minimum. I come out here, clean out their kennels, and I get out of here, family, just so I don't get sick. Uh, but their cages is clean. But again, I like these big size cages because the dogs can run around, they can move, they can stretch their legs. They not balled up in those small kennels. But again, if you got those small crates, family, I'm not saying that. You a bad person, not at all, family. But eventually, you want to try to upgrade to where you can get your dog into a bigger crate, especially if you got big dogs. Like, look how small this dog is, and look how much a cage she got, y'all. You get what I'm saying? She got a full dog house in there. This cage is 10 feet from front to back, five feet wide, six feet tall. Family, I could put three dogs in this cage if I want to, but I don't. The most I put in one cage is two dogs, family. I feel like that's comfortable enough for them. But look how big this cage is compared to that small dog. But she got her own cage. She got her own cage. Everybody got their own cage on Dollhouse because I told myself, Fetty, if you was out here living like this, I want to be at least have my own space. I want to be comfortable. I want to be able to move around, stretch my legs. I want to be able to get me some food, get me some water. I at least want to be able to do those things. So that's the way I set it up for my dogs. Thichella loose. She in the bar, y'all. I keep Thichella loose most of the time. Thichella is my... My guard dog, trust me, family. Y'all done seen Thichella on the spring pole. Y'all done seen Thichella uh, grab on the rag. Thichella changed somebody's life. Cookie will too, but Cookie sometimes can go too far left. And it's hard for me to pull Cookie back and control Cookie at times. So uh, Cookie stay in the crate, y'all, because Cookie will go far left quick. So you got to keep Cookie close by on a tight leash. You know what I mean? You got to I you gotta know your dogs, fam. What dogs is what? Again, like I spoke about in the past. Don't put your dogs in a situation to fail. If you know your dog is have a certain characteristic or a certain trait, don't set your dog up to fail, family. You maneuver around knowing that this dog is this way. So I leave Thichella loose most of the time. I used to leave Jumbo loose, y'all. Jumbo and Thichella or Jumbo and Cookie will stay loose together. But as y'all know, some of y'all know, that been following my channel for a long time. A few months ago, Jumbo messed up his spine. Jumbo over there, y'all. He messed up his spine. Uh, y'all see that table that's over there? It's a table. It used to be in the middle of the yard. Jumbo used to always jump on top of it and lay down, relax, or he'd jump up there with the ball while he running around and chew on the ball because I used to leave Jumbo loose all the time. One day, Jumbo was jumping off the, the table onto the floor, and one of the other dogs was running by, and they hit each other. As he was coming down, the dog was running by, they hit each other, and Jumbo flipped and, like, spent and landed on his back on his rear side took him to the vet long story short the first vet wrongly diagnosed me she told me he broke his leg he never broke his leg Ugh, he messed up his spine and what he did was he messed up whatever in his spine that's that is supposed to communicate with his back legs and over you got days where he's not as bad you got days where he's really bad but eventually y'all i'm gonna have to put jumbo down i honestly just been dreading it because that's my guy i don't want to do it um that's my guy, y'all. I ain't lying. I love all my dogs, but Jumbo, my guy. That's my right-hand man right there, y'all. So I've been dreading, dreading, dreading uh, putting Jumbo to sleep, y'all. But eventually, I'm going to have to. At times, when he's running, his back legs, it look like he don't know what to do with him. It look like a little kid trying to learn how to walk. And my vet told me, like, it's only going to get worse. So, uh, but Jumbo used to be my dog. I leave loose all the time, no matter what. Jumbo will change somebody's life, y'all. They come back here. So that was Jumbo and Thichella or Jumbo and Cookie was my dogs that stayed loose at all times. But now I keep Jumbo up because I, I want to constrict his movement. I don't want him running. He'll still try to do those things, run, jump at the gate and bark at certain things or jump on a spring pole. And I don't want him to try to, he just got that go in him to want to do it regardless. And I don't want to, again, put him in a situation, leaving him loose. And he go hurt himself worse or even more. 
So, you know, I, I put Jumbo in the crate. But now the Chella stay loose at all times. The Chella ain't gonna mess with nobody. She gonna relax, she gonna chill out. But she'll protect the yard for sure. So, um, and one of my young ones, I'm gonna start training and working on being a protection dog so that way they can help out or take over or replace the Chella or pair with the Chella. Um, but fam, you gotta get out here no matter what, man. I know it's some people that's still in the bed right now that got dogs, they sleep. They still got the sheet stuffed up in their cheeks. Fam, you can't do that. Get the sheets out your cheeks and go take care of the dogs, fam. I know it's raining. I know it's snowing. I know it's doing whatever it's doing. But fam, you got to get out there and at least make sure them pens is clean. They got fresh water. They got fresh food. And they straight, fam. So get out there. Tend to your dogs. Love them. Hold them. Care them. Let them know you there for them no matter what. These dogs know no matter what happened, Fetty going to show up. No matter what happened. Fetty going to be out here to make sure we straight. If I hurt myself, Fetty finna make sure I'm straight. If I'm not feeling good, Fetty finna make sure I'm straight. If I need to go in the house, Fetty going to make sure I'm straight. No matter what it is, these dogs know Fetty got them. And that's the relationship and the bond that you want with your dog, fam. So I just wanted to share that with y'all this morning. Um, as y'all can see, it's literally y'all. It been raining from yesterday afternoon on and off. Last night it was thundering so bad. If you in Georgia... Y'all know how bad it was in Atlanta yesterday because I was in Atlanta last night and it was getting busy out there, y'all. I ain't lying. So at least I jumped up this morning. Everybody cages is cleaned out and everybody's straight, y'all. So family, I love y'all. You know, and again, at least you want to come out here and just check on the dog. Make sure everybody okay. Everybody breathing. Everybody, you know, still moving. Ain't nobody panicking. Everybody cooling. So family, I just want to share that with y'all. I'm about to get out of this rain, go in the house. Uh, get with these kids and relax with them. So, family, y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel, family. Until next time, I'm out of here, baby.